You spend precious years teaching them قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ You teach them Allah is one. Then they go to school to celebrate a holiday abusing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with a son. You drive them and walk them in the morning to destruction where they celebrate a holiday the heavens are about to burst from and the earth is about to split apart from. And the mountains are about to crumble into pieces from. Symbols of holidays is celebrating those holidays. Exchanging gifts for holidays is celebrating that holiday. Singing Christmas carols is celebrating the holiday. Greetings for the holiday is celebrating the holiday. When they receive or give candy for a pagan holiday, it's celebrating that holiday. And all that affects their upbringing. When they grow at that age, learning kufr theories and atheism, and then you got someone who wonders why atheism is spreading or why there's so much doubt in Allah nowadays. And the list goes on. People think their children celebrating the holidays of the kuffar is a game or it's not a big deal. The zanadiqa and the heads in the West downplay it. Some even make fatawa to justify it for Muslims. But it was a very serious matter to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In the best generation of Islam, where the Tawheed was at its strongest, Jibreel was still descending. Rasulullah was still living amongst them. The Quran was still being revealed. The best generation. But Rasulullah deemed any and every holiday other than our Eids something that needs to be addressed so our kids will be properly raised in Sunan Abu Dawood Anas radiallahu an said qadima rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam al madina wa lahum yawmani yal'abuna fihima when the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam migrated to Medina there was two days which the children played in وَلَهُمْ يَوْمَانِ يَلْعَبُونَ فِيهِمَا The days where they played in. So the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked them about the significance of these days. What are these days about? They told him, these are just certain days that they played in from the days of Jahiliyyah, pre-Islamic days. كُنَّا نَلْعَبُ فِيهِمَا فِي الْجَاهِلِيَّةِ We used to play in them during the Jahiliyyah days, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam put an immediate end to it. He said, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala substituted for you something better than them. The two Eids, Yawm Al-Adha wa Yawm Al-Fitr. That abrogated all holidays. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam knows the importance of instilling a special, independent, different, distinct, supreme identity in the hearts of our children. So he deterred them from it. Muslim children need to grow up knowing they have a different belief than everyone else. It needs to be emphasized and stressed, not downplayed and soft pedaled as the Zanadiqa do. The children need to be taught that our deen is not equal to other ideologies. It's not equal to kufr and shirk. Our deen in tawheed was sent to be supreme and above all. Huwa alladhi arsala rasulahu bil huda wa deen al haqqi li yudhirahu ala al-deen kulli. It must be emphasized over and over that this tawheed leads to jannah. The kufr and shirk leads to jahannam. When Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam raised the generation like that, he was able to raise the most successful man in the shortest time who ruled the globe.